Um, have, have you actually ever been in a situation where you've had like one take and something gone terribly wrong? Um, probably. Is, most things are one takes for us um, until it comes to really nailing down on, mm. you know, on a record. But yeah, all those Spotify sessions, all the radio sessions, Jules Holland, you'll have the pressure on mm. all those things. And it's bound to be things that go wrong in all of them, really. But that's what makes it fun and live and exciting for everyone. When you do Jules Holland, do you actually have to stand there and like just yeah. wait while everyone else performs? Yep. Who so performed when you did it? Do you remember? So we've done it twice now. The first time was um, Neil Finn was on it and um, who was Damon Albarn. Mm. And then... As, as Damon or as Gorillaz? I think it was as Damon. Mm. Um, yeah, it was, it was as Damon. And then we did... Um, it last year with Haim, mm -hmm. uh, the XX, um, and some some really cool bands. Actually, it was it was fun, but yeah, it's quite nerve wracking. I think second time we're around, we we're like way more relaxed because mm. we knew knew the vibe, knew what was going on. But um, still, you get that tingle of, you know, this is going out right now. Here we go. There's always an element when I watch that show when the, the, the camera pans from one performance to the next where the band, you can see it go from this kind of awkward standing around moment to, all right, rock mode. Yeah. <laughs> you just have it. to change very quickly. That's it. And you, you have the pressure of everyone else like watching you. There's a whole studio audience, obviously, and then there's all the other bands and artists that you know, you've been listening to for years or, or whatever, and they're all, you know laser eyes mm. on everything that you're doing but yes yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun though